Praise God, saints. Let me know if you can see and hear me clearly. I don't know if y'all can invite people on here. This is the first broadcast on um, on Facebook Live. Am I clear? Am I clear, saints? Can you? Am I clear? Am I? Um, is the picture good? Okay, I'm clear. Okay. Um. Okay. God bless you, saints. I don't know if you all can invite people on here or this is the first time we're doing um, just a quick segment on Facebook Live. Never did Facebook Live before. And saints, I just want to speak to you real quickly. I'm going to get on Periscope in just a little while. Get on Periscope in just a little while. But I wanted to just share something that the Lord was showing me. You know, in the book of Revelation, chapter chapter 20, verse 11, it said, I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, whose face the earth and heaven fled away. That's the Lord Jesus. Then the Bible said in verse 12 that he. I saw the dead, both small and great, that's little children, adults. It said, and another book was open, which is the book of life. So this is the book of life. Everybody's name that's in the book of life has legal right to enter into heaven. They receive Jesus. And look what it says, saints. And the dead were judged out of those books. So everybody will be judged out of the out of these book, out of this book of life. I mean, Revelation chapter. 20 verse 12 and it said they were judged out of the books and according to their works so everybody is going to be judged according to their works now saints I want you to see this and the sea gave up the dead which were in it I want to explain this real quickly I'll go deeper on Periscope I don't think a lot of people know I'm on here even now. Maybe I should have let people know that I was going to be on here. But I want you to catch this revelation that Jesus gave me. If you go to Revelation chapter 21 or, or chapter 20 verse 13, it said the sea. The sea gave up the dead that were in it. God bless you all. The sea, the sea gave up the dead that were in it. So I want you to see this. The Bible said that the sea, that's the lake of fire, gave up the dead that were in it. And then it says, and death and hell delivered up their dead, which were in it, which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. But this is verse 14. This is what the Lord was showing me. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. I want you to see verse 14. Verse 14 says that death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. The Lord was speaking something very strong to me before I got on here. And the Lord told me, he said, son, in verse 14, death and hell represents people. Death and hell represents an individual in the earth when they disobey God. Your name becomes death and hell. You take on that identity. Verse 14 says that death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. The Lord told me that death and hell represents individuals that are separated from him. I want to show you in scripture real quickly. Psalm 115 verse 17 says that the dead do not praise God. 
So the Lord called people that do not praise God death. Psalm 115, verse 17, the dead do not praise God. See Revelation chapter 20, verse 14. 20, verse 14 says that death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. So the Lord told me that death and hell are people that are disconnected from him. Even, even in the earth realm, some people are already death and hell. They are already death and hell. They are already wearing the identity of Satan in this life. They are already wearing the identity of Lucifer in this life. Remember in John chapter 17, the Lord Jesus said, Father, I'm not praying for everyone. I'm only praying for those that you have given me. What about those that are not given to him? Jesus told them in the Gospels, he said, they are children of the devil. Now, let me show you furthermore in scripture where you find that the Lord called people death. Matthew chapter 23, verse 27. Jesus told the Pharisees, you are full of dead man's bones. So he called them dead man's bones. He called them death. Romans chapter or Luke chapter 9, verse 60 says that the Lord told the man when he said, I'm going to go bury my father, he said, let the dead bury their own dead. Jesus was calling the man, the, the man to follow him. And he told him, let dead people, let those that don't have no relationship with me, let them go bury your father. But you come follow me. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The Bible says a man that strays from understanding will dwell in the congregation of the dead. Saints, I'm giving you scripture where the Bible refers to people as dead. The, the Lord referred to them as death. He referred to them as hell and death. Even in scripture, some people are already wearing the identity of Satan. They are already wearing the identity of hell. Proverbs talks about a young man not going to a strange woman because her house represents death. That's what the Lord was teaching Solomon about a strange woman, meaning like people that will cause, seduce you into doing evil. And that goes for both genders. There are people that can seduce you into doing evil. Why? Because they're wearing the identity of death. Not everyone is wearing the identity of God. Not everyone is wearing the identity of Christ. Not everyone is wearing the image of God. Some are wearing the image of Satan. Some are wearing the, in, the image of hell. You see, you, you see through even different stories where someone was on a certain path and then they met someone and they went down a very destructive path. They started using drugs. They started doing different things. Why? Because that person that they connected with represented death. So saints, I want you to meditate Revelation 20. I'm about to get on Periscope. A lot of people don't know I'm on <laughs> Facebook Live. I'm about to get on Periscope. But I want you to meditate on Revelation chapter 20, verse 11 through 14. The great white throne judgment. The Bible said death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Death and hell represent people. This was a representative of people. Death and hell represented people being cast into the lake of fire. The Lord called them death and hell. Be aware of people in the earth realm that's death and hell. Their assignment is to assassinate. Their assignment is to separate. To cause your focus to go apart from Jesus. Now, you don't got to hate anyone. Jesus never taught us to hate anyone. But people have the image of death and hell. If you are gullible, if you are not rooted in the word of God, if you're not planted in the presence of Jesus, 
you could entangle yourself with death and hell. People that don't really love Jesus. And they will carry you out of the presence of God. Saints people carry atmospheres like we know. Some people carry cold atmospheres. How do we know? Jesus said men's heart was going to wax cold. So people are carrying cold atmospheres. If you on fire for God and you get around people with cold atmospheres, that could pick your light out. That can pick your fire out. Be wise as serpents. Serpents survey their environment. Serpents survey their environment. They watch. They pay attention. Lucifer came in the form of a serpent, but he was already watching Adam and Eve. He was already watching them. But he was, he was waiting for the right time to enter the environment. Saints, Jesus told you to be wise as serpents. What did the serpent do? He studied the environment. He knew how to function in the environment. Same way you got to be wise as serpents in this earth. You got to know how to function underneath the unction of the spirit. Letting the Holy Ghost tell you what to do. The Holy Spirit knows how to outsmart the enemy wherever you're located. Workplace, ministry, business, marriage, whatever it is. There's a way that the Lord Jesus will have you operate so that you will not be influenced by death and hell, which was cast into the lake of fire. Some people already are on their way to hell. Some people already, already took the mark of the beast. Saints, the Bible said that people was going to take the mark of the beast in their hand and their forehead. Why would the Bible say their, for, their forehead? Saints, some people already made up in their mind to serve Satan. They already have the mark of the beast in their forehead. Their mindset is already set on doing everything apart from the Lord. What do we do? We continue on following the spirit of God. Same way Jesus did. The same way Jesus operated amongst a crooked and perverse generation. We in it now. But we wise as serpents. Saints, be cautious of death and hell. You stay in the presence of Jesus. You will know who is carrying death. You will know who is carrying hell. Who has come on assignment to assassinate and to separate? Who have come on assignment in order to cause your focus to get off of Jesus? Saints, I'll see you on Periscope. Just a minute.